Today, I think I'm going to talk about uh, Luminar AI and just go through a few photos real quick and easy. Uh, I'm running this on a, an Apple M1 uh, MacBook Air, uh, eight core, 16 gigs, one terabyte version. Uh, it's hit or miss. Sometimes it's great, sometimes it's not. Um, I don't know. It's weird. Sometimes it works really well and sometimes it's really slow and the cores are just pegged through the roof. So uh, I guess we'll see what happens here. Um, I don't know. Let's dive into a few photos. All right, so uh, we're going to record the screen here. Um, don't mind me, I'm going to just sit like this. And let's uh, fire this thing up here. Uh, well, real quick, let's take a look at um, the activity monitor. See what I mean? I mean, I'm at 11. I'm at 11 gigs. I haven't opened it. There's nothing open. I mean, I have maybe Explore. This can get quit. This can quit. Um, and I'm at 10. So I, I really don't think I don't I really don't think eight gigs is gonna cut it for you. You're gonna need sixteen. So, anyways, I'm also screen recording, so that it does play a factor. Anyways, let's uh, open this up. So one thing that, that stinks is um, Luminar AI doesn't it doesn't work with Canon R5 files yet. You have to kind of do the whole DNG conversion. So I don't. Oh, I was messing with this photo. <laughs> I was messing with this photo earlier, uh, but we're going to mess with it again because <clears throat> there's a million different things you can do. Um, if we go to adjustments, revert to original. Isn't that crazy? This is crazy. All right. Um, so what we're going to do is I grabbed a few photos and I, I, I figured this might be really good for real estate. This I know Lightroom has their own, uh, not Lightroom, I think it's Photoshop. I don't really use it, but between Photoshop or Lightroom, one of them has their new uh, sky enhancement. But this might be a better way to go to pop in a new sky really quick. Um, so let's do this. You know, this is uh, not the greatest photo, but um, yeah, let's see what we can do with this. So the way that this works is you got a catalog. Uh, I have it in an untitled folder on my desktop. This is where I dump the footage or the photos. Uh, we've got templates. So what it does is it, uh, the software kind of looks at the templates and says, hey, I, we think this might be good for your photo. So we're gonna make this an artsy, an artsy convenient MD photo. So <laughs> this won't be a more, we can do a real, more real estate-y, but I, don't know, I just wanted to see what we can do here. Oh, that's pretty good, right out of the gate. All right. Wait a second. What the hell just happened? That's a, they did clouds and everything. I'm done. All done. Okay. Well, that's the review and that's what you get with, dude, that is, that is crazy. Like, where did it come with that? That looks really good. This is a house I shot. Uh, this house was crazy. It had like a basketball court and stuff. It's crazy. But what does this do? Does this do the same thing? Oh, it's a little, it's, I don't like the saturation. Was there a lot of saturation in the other one? Oh, I think there was. Oh yeah, you can see it in the red. So I'd actually, I'd probably come over here, hit up, uh, which one of these? Was it toning? Um, nope. We need this. And we need light, I think it was. One of these is saturation structure, color. Aha. Let's bring the saturation down on this. Maybe not that much, but yeah, see, I would probably do something. Yeah, kind of kind of like that. That looks good. I I really saw it on the other one that the greens went these this grass went a little crazy. Um but really, not, <laughs> not bad. Not bad out of the gate. Not bad. Yeah, it's not sunset. Sun is like right behind me, so you probably have to do like bright blue sky. 
I mean, those clouds are pretty perfect. Eh, that looks good. And then I'd probably come over here, hit the color, bring down the saturation here. All right, this was, uh, so I went with my daughter. She was, what was she? She was like three. It's the worst idea ever. <laughs> but it was just her and I, we went there, we stayed one inning and that was it. But I got this photo with, uh, I think a, a Sony RX 100 Mark five or something, Mark four. Not the newest one, the one right before, before they had that crazy super long lens. It's the one before that. Um, but uh, if you go here, whoops, if you come here, scenery, huh? Um, oh, I like that. That looks good. All right. So now we're going to come over here to edit. We're going to need to change this composition here because we're going to have to Oh, okay. You know, it's actually not doing too bad with the, uh, with the M1. If you look up here, the CPUs are actually staying quite low. I wonder if something was going on that just that one particular time that I was using this. Very well could be. All right, let's get as much as we can out of this. Yeah, boom. All right, that looks pretty good. See that, see that, just cropping it. Look at all the cores creeping up there. Anyways, um, what do I want? Structure, what does this do? This is more, this is contrasty, right? I know one of these will actually, um, yeah, this is the one I want. This one will actually bring in, if you look kind of in this area right here, it's a little dark and somehow it, it will spruce up the details. See the difference? Yeah, I like that. Looks good. All right. Uh, I guess let's get a little creative. We can do uh Let's do... I mean, you can really pick anything for this. Um, I mean, that's not terrible. It's not horrible. I mean, it almost looks realistic. Oh, that's not too bad either. That, that, that might have been what I used earlier. That's not bad. That's like a beach sort of feel. At least that's the way I feel that. That's not bad. I mean, this, this software is apps. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, let's, let's rock that. I like the rays in here. That's, so th this is really difficult. This has got to be difficult for the software because if you zoom into this... Um, see the cores just zooming in. There we go. If you look at this, this there's a net here, um, and I stitched this with Lightroom. I think I, t I think I took like four or five photos uh, with this, and um, just stitched it all together. So I don't know if this is a stitch issue or or what. Um, so this is really difficult for for the you know the software to kind of cut out all this stuff like over here. This is interesting. You can see, come on. Come on, that, see this, the lights are a little funky. If we, what's the original look like? Yeah, see the originals look like that. They actually, they have some structure to them. They disappear. Um, but I wonder if you can fix that. I think there is a way of doing this. <clears throat> Um, horizon position, is this like moving up or down? Okay. Relight scene. Okay. Global, what's it say? Sky global. 
All right, so this is kind of probably merging the two together, maybe. I'm not entirely sure what this does. Like, that's no sky. This is like the initial... I feel like as I push this thing over, it brings back some of these details in this. There's an advanced setting. What's in here? Close gaps. Oh, yeah. So if you look at this right here, this helped. Uh, see what I mean? You see uh, this closed gaps. This thing was like over here. Watch these lights disappear. See? So this closed gaps is pretty good. That helped with some of the stuff. Um, at least helped with this. Not this. Uh, Sky Local. Mm. The thing is, is it takes so long to like render. I don't know what it's actually doing. I have seen uh, people move the sky, like be able to move it back somehow, but I don't know how they do that. Um, haze, we don't need any haze, but this is how the haze does. It'll kind of bring in some It's actually only bringing in, oh, this is defocus, sorry, haze. I'm like, that's not really doing what we want. See a little bit, you can see it coming in over here, but I don't want any of that stuff. Um, sky temperature looks pretty good, looks realistic. Let's see, you push it more orange. Golden hour, that's nice. Um, all right, atmosphere, what is this? Amount, oh, fog. Layered fog, mist, haze. What's mist? Oh, look at that. That looks like mist. <laughs> wow. Very misty. That's cool. <clears throat> All right. Uh, layered fog. What's this? Not seeing much going on with that. Anyways, okay, let's go. <clears throat> sun rays. I don't think we need any because it actually has some. I think we're good here. You can actually plop in a sun rays. I've messed with that before. Dramatic. What is this? Oh, very contrasty sort of deal. We'll do a little bit. Mood. You can choose your LUT. Uh, what this does, though, is when you pick your, um, at the very beginning, when you're in uh, the catalog, and then you went into to templates, how it picked your scene. Um, it usually picks the LUT from out of there. So if you change that, it changes the whole thing entirely, uh, which kind of makes sense. But typically what you see here is what you picked under templates from what I've noticed. Um, Matt. Oh, I see. You see that? Oh, that looks sick. Look at that. One slider and you've got like that, those, those blacks come a little blue. That's awesome. What's this fade? It's pretty sick. Mystical. Ooh. Sounds. Meh. Nah. Glow? Soft focus. Film grain. We can add some film grain to this. Ugh. I'm just curious what that looked like. Um, all right. Portraits, we're not doing any portraits. Pro optics. <clears throat> Might as well hit those. Super contrast, we're not doing any of that. Um, so that's what I came up with. This is the before and after. Check this out. This to the from this. I mean, get out of here. Do we replace the sky? It looks crazy. I mean, we can even put in some if you come under here. <clears throat> You can even add stuff. Maybe some birds. Shoot, go big. Look at my mouse is kind of skipping here. 
Um, go giraffe. Did I miss it? Where's the giraffe? Giraffe. There's a giraffe. <laughs> That's where they decided to put him. <laughs> All right. We'll just stick him right here on the foil. Um, we want... I'm not sure what he's doing. I just got a giraffe watching the baseball game. Some of these... Uh, uh, these pitchers, I mean, we did some good stuff here. What is this doing? Um, why is it... Um, so this over here is the before and after, but... I don't... I'm not really sure why it's just doing both the after. <laughs> well, clearly there are some bugs. Some, some things have a different photo. Come on, really? Oh, there he goes. So, I mean, we started with something like this and literally one click, bam. That is just, oh, that's so bonkers. That, that was a good one, that was impressive. This guy. This guy was just a little bit. We didn't do too much here. Um, you know, we had a little bit of sky, a little bit. Change, we changed the color of the house, unfortunately, but um, not bad. Um, but anyways, um, yeah, that's uh, Luminar AI. Uh, I think it's a great piece of software. Um, there might be some twerky, twerky, quirky, quirkiness with uh, the M1 Max, but... Um, as soon as they come up with some updates, I'm sure this thing's going to be uh, smooth sailing. So, uh, yeah, if you have any questions, want me to test something, if you find out how to move that giraffe closer, let me know. I know you can do it. It's simple. Anyways, uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.